Nigel Farage strongly condemned the CPTPP when it was known as the Trans-Pacific Partnership TPP, as he claimed the trade bloc followed the EU prototype for world governance. Britain has formally applied to join the Comprehensive and Progressive Agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership CPTPP, formerly the TPP, with negotiations set to start later this year. Since leaving the EU, Britain has made clear its desire to join the trade bloc, which removes most tariffs between Australia, Brunei, Canada, Chile, Japan, Malaysia, Mexico, New Zealand, Peru, Singapore and Vietnam. Prime Minister Boris Johnson said in a statement, One year after our departure from the EU we are forging new partnerships that will bring enormous economic benefits for the people of Britain. International Trade Secretary Liz Truss believes membership of the partnership would boost trade that was worth £111 billion last year and has been growing 8% per year since the UK voted to leave the EU in 2016. Ms Truss argued membership will complement existing free trade agreements between the UK and countries including Japan, Canada, Mexico, Chile and Vietnam, which were rolled over from previous EU deals. Dot. Speaking to the BBC, Ms. Truss declined to say what effect CPTPP membership would have on the UK economy but she insisted the Pacific region was important as a centre of future growth. Brexiteers hailed the move as proving the future success of global Britain as outside Europe. North West Leicestershire MP Andrew Bridgen said, We don't need the EU anymore. This just confirms the massive opportunities Brexit is already bringing to this country. However, Reform UK party leader Nigel Farage, who can largely be credited for Britain's departure from Brussels, has yet to comment on the move. The reason behind his silence could be that in 2017, Mr Farage celebrated former US President Donald Trump for removing the US from the TPP. The TPP was the centerpiece of President Barack Obama's strategic pivot to Asia. Before President Trump withdrew the United States, on his third day in office, the TPP was set to become the world's largest free trade deal, covering 40% of the global economy. For its supporters, such a deal would have expanded U.S. trade and investment abroad, spurred economic growth, lowered consumer prices, and created new jobs, while also advancing U.S. strategic interests in the Asia-Pacific region. However, its critics, including Mr. Trump, saw the deal as likely to accelerate U.S. decline in manufacturing, lower wages, and increase inequality.